on. Good morning, TWC. It's Mommy Rosanna and Scotty. Yes, we love you guys. We're so happy to see you once again. Today, we're supposed to talk about the fruit of the spirit um, and a focus on love. So let's start off by reading Galatians 5, 22 in the 23rd verse. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Amen. Amen. Some of you may say, what is the fruit of the spirit? See, when we trust and follow Jesus, he gives us the Holy Spirit to help us follow, obey, and love him, him first, and other people. The Holy Spirit at work in our hearts produces fruit. Notice how Galatians, the fifth chapter, the 22nd verse through the 23rd verse says that the fruit not fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When we follow Jesus, he produces this fruit. We don't get a chance to just pick which one we like or the two that's our favorite to live out. They are all at works together and make up one whole fruit, which is known as the fruit of the spirit. Amen. So today we're going to focus on love. I tell Skyland that I love her all the time. I say, I love you, Skyland. So Jesus loves everybody. So I say, I love you. What do you tell me? I say, I love you this much. What do you say? And then I have a couple say, I love you this much. But well, what do I say? What do you say back? Do you say you love me too? Yep. yep. Sometimes okay. I don't say I don't love you. Sometimes I don't. Ah, sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. Okay. I like that. But you know what? Jesus' love is unconditional. That means he doesn't have some time at love. He loves us always when we're doing things that are right and when we're doing things that are not right. So Jesus loves us unconditionally based on our good behavior and our not so good behavior. So today Skyland and I are going to show an experiment on love. Hopefully it works because I have to be honest, we did not practice. We just wanted to do it one time and hopefully it will work as we have the instructions. So we're supposed to have our supplies, um, a cup, got a cup. You're supposed to have baking soda. I have your baking soda, vinegar, red food coloring. I don't have, but I do have some hot sauce. So we're gonna use hot sauce instead of um, food coloring. Don't break it, baby, okay? Don't break it, baby. That means to stop, stop, okay? Measuring cup, large plate or tray. Okay, put a large plate or tray under each cup. The empty cup that you see, boys and girls, this represents the emptiness in our hearts without Jesus. So this cup represents the emptiness in our hearts without Jesus. Squirt a little bit of red food coloring, which I'm going to use hot sauce instead, and I'll let Skylin do it. Put just a little bit of hot sauce in there. Two, three, and four. That's enough. Okay, and you can hold the cup up so they can see it. But they can't see it because you got to hold it up. Okay. Squirt a little bit of red food coloring to each cup. Jesus died on the cross to pay the price for your sin, our sins, because he loves you so much. Okay. We're going to add some baking soda, a tablespoon of baking soda to the cup. Yes, you're going to do it. I'm going to add it and then you can stir it. Hold on. I'll let you do it. Give me a second. Okay. So, of course, you guys can't see, but that's there you go. Pour that into the cup. 
Okay. And now, Skylin, put that down and hold the cup up so they can see. Maybe if I do it this way. Okay. Yep, hold that up. So the baking soda represents when you give your heart to Jesus, he washes, it cleans, and give you the Holy Spirit to help you follow, obey, and love him and love other people. Now we're going to slowly pour in about a half a cup of vinegar. This is the vinegar. We're going to pour that into that. Wait a minute, Skylar. Slowly pour. Okay. Because he first loves us, the Holy Spirit at work in our heart. Let's go on and pour that in there. Pour that in there. Do you see that? That's bubbling. <laughs> because he first loves us, the Holy Spirit at works in our heart bubbles. It bubbles up inside and cause his love to overflow out of our hearts and share loves to others. And yes, boys and girls, it definitely did overflow. Hopefully you were able to see that. And that's why we were supposed to have a plate at the bottom, which we did. And I would say have some napkins <laughs> so you can clean up the mess. But I hope that you understand what we're saying here. So I hope through our experiment that you were able to see that love is not easy. We can't just love people and love ourselves and love God without the help of the Holy Spirit. But once we learn how to love the Lord, he will give us his Holy Spirit so that we can love ourselves, that we can have love for him, and so that we can have love for others. It will bubble up inside, as you saw with the experiment, and run over. Amen. That we will be able to love how we are supposed to love. And that is definitely unconditionally, not tangent upon somebody doing good all the time. OK, I, I recall Skylin just saying that, you know, I say sometimes I love you, mom, and sometimes I don't. The times that she says she doesn't love me is when I'm not giving her the things that she wants me to give her or when I'm disciplining her. But see, God's love is unconditional and we have to grow to have unconditional love as well. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can definitely do that now. I said before um, last week, we're going to continue to be talking about the fruit of the spirit. And I'm coming from a, a wonderful packet that I have of activities. And this was one of the activities that I did. Um, I can't do all of them. But if you would like for me to um, send you information, I can definitely share. Just inbox me. We're going to end with a prayer. And we're going to pray that, Lord, you teach us to love. You teach us to love unconditionally. You teach us to um, trust in you, Lord God. And love is patience, kind, rejoices our truth. Love always trusts, hopes, and preserves. It is not jealous. It doesn't brag. It isn't proud, rude, selfish, angry. And it takes no pleasure, no pleasure in evil. Father God, we thank you for your love. You said in your word, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for your word. That is John 3, 16, Lord God. We thank you for your word of the fruit of the spirit, Lord God, that we are learning and talking about in Galatians 5 and 22 to the 23rd verse, Lord God. We ask that you teach us, the parents, how to love. We ask that you teach our children how to love. Love you, Lord God. Love ourselves and love each other, Lord God. We pray a covering this week. We know that we have a lot that's going on with corona and with just everything that's going on and that can keep us distracted from you, Lord God. But every day, Lord God, I pray that my focus is on you and that I continue to trust you for guidance and love in peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Skylar, do you have anything to say? 
But I just prayed. If you want to pray, you can go on. We're running out of time. You got to stand up and pray, baby, so they can hear you. Amen. We thank you for the apostolic go. We send the Holy Spirit go and cover us and protect us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.